The U.S. Congress has declared that Jerusalem must be recognized as the capital of the state of Israel. Of course, Bush can make a lot of noise. It doesn't make any difference. This is naturally going to cause tremendous anger even amongst those governments in the Arab world who shine Mr. Bush's shoes for him. Huh? Even they will become angry. And then Israel launches a missile in Gaza and kills about 12, 14, and injures about 110. Any country in the world today which had done that, the matter would have been in the UN Security Council already. The whole world would have been debating it. Send an army in this country. But Israel has done it. And Israel gets away with it. The reason for this is because there's a deliberate policy at work to get the anger of the Arab masses to reach boiling point. When they are convinced that it is now boiling point, that any little spark will catch the fire, then Mr. Bush must attack Iraq. When the attack on Iraq takes place, among the things that will result would be the collapse of some governments they are hoping. Which one, first of all? Abdullah in Jordan, which is why he's got his suitcases packed already. <laughs> the West, which controls the media around the world, will now use the media for a, a, a crusade, media crusade, declaring that the world of Islam is now rising up to cut the throats of the Jews. The Jews are now faced with the most perilous moment in their history. I told you two, three nights ago, I said this is going to be drama worthy of Hollywood when it happens. And there will be even Muslims who are going to be convinced by it. Huh? It is at that time when the world is looking to Israel, what are you going to do? You've got to do something. Otherwise, these Muslims are going to cut your throat. It is then that Israel says, okay, we're just launching a preemptive strike. But it's not going to be a preemptive strike. It is going to be the war which has already been planned long, long ago. It's going to be a lightning strike with the use of a military power unmatched in history. Dazzling war, it's called. And they will seize the oil of the Middle East. And the territory of the state will expand. Maybe that that will be the knock which will bring down the whole system, monetary system. When the US dollar collapses and the rest of the world of paper money collapses, the United States can no longer function as the ruling state in the world. I anticipated, I said to you, that the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank would then disappear. That was a mistake on my part. No. All that they'll have to do is to reduce the status of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank so they become more like small institutions which do not have any global uh, role to play. And power will now shift from Washington to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And now Israel will rule the world. I have used the hadith that when Dajjal is released, he will live on earth for 40 days. One day like a year, one day like a month, one day like a week, and the rest of his days like your days. To explain that the first day, it is Britain, which is the headquarters of Dajjal, using the hadith of Tamim Udari. But I said, this is my opinion. You're free to disagree with me. But if you want to disagree with me, close the door. You can't leave. No, you can't leave. If I'm wrong, you're going to tell me what the right answer is. The island of Tamim Udari. If it is not Britain, tell me which island it is. 
Then I said, if Britain is the island, in a day which is like a year, then a day which is like a month, it's the United States of America. And then a day which is like a week, be the state of Israel. And at the end of that would come a day which is like our day, so he'd be in our dimension of time. So now he appears, he's a Jew, he's a young man, he's powerfully built, he has curly hair, but I say nothing about his eyes. Hmm? Why? Because when he sees with one eye, this symbolizes external vision. When he's blind in the other eye, this, re this represents internal blindness. So no one can understand Dajjal. No one can recognize the strategies of Dajjal, whether it be the political strategy or the economic strategy or the strategy involved in the world of women, the feminist revolution. No one can understand it unless in addition to external observation and rational inquiry, he also has nur in his heart with which to see. The question is asked, Sheikh Imran, how can we get that nur? I have only one answer to give to you tonight. And listen carefully and ponder over it, because I'm not going to say anything more than this. If you want nur, why don't you go back in the pages of the book on history? Go back in the pages of the book of history and see who are those who were blessed with nur in our 14 years of history. That's all I have to say. Nothing more than that. Israel now rules the world for a day which is like a week, and then the Jal appears. And when the Jal appears, we have the Imam, and then the confrontation, and then the son of Mary, and the Jal is killed, and Gog and Magog are destroyed, and then the army from Khorasan, and the state of Israel is destroyed. And then the Holy Land is liberated and Islam will now rule the world from Jerusalem. Good. Now then, what do we do in the meantime? Do we sit down and wait for the Imam al-Mahdi? No. Because jihad is already in force. We don't need any fatwa. The jihad is already in force in the Holy Land. And we already know that two out of every three who fight in that jihad will be killed. Two out of every three will enter into heaven. That's the better way to say it. So those who live for Allah, Bushra lahum, because they will die for Allah. Don't let any government change your mind. What do we do in the meantime? How do we survive in the new world of money? Hmm? If we had it under the pillow, it's gone, now it's wallpaper. If we had it in the bank and we use it in a manner pleasing to Allah, they're seizing all the accounts, freezing it, what are we going to do? We won't even have money to buy chicken and chips. The answer is simple. Any time you commit sin, the sin of abandoning the Quran, which we have done, the sin of abandoning the Sunnah, which we have done, we recognize that tonight, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knocks on the door of our heart and he says, Tubu ilallah. Tubu ilallah tawbatan nasuha. Turn to Allah. Turn away from the sin. And when you turn, turn with sincerity. Turn with integrity. Don't turn watching behind your back. I'm turning away from it. 